Lebedev, Zondra Lebedev, who is here supporting his fellow countrymen last night. Can he produce something a bit special here tonight in front of a very healthy crowd? Here we go then. Green light is on. Tapes are up, sharpish. We're into the first turn, and it's Matsay Yanovsky. Look at that move from Lebedev. Sweet move from Lebedev. He read that beautifully. He passed himself to the front. That was just a magical first corner from the hometown favourite, Matsay Yanovsky, relegated to second place. He'd be kicking himself there with Leon Madsen back in third. But Lebedev, that was a class move there. I'll tell you what, the crowd are going to be overjoyed about this. One final blast through this turn last turn and that delights the crowd that is a wonderful way to start the night for Andre Lebedev and the crowd here in Riga look at that the reception is absolutely what you would expect a lot of talk about uh, Robert Lambert second in the championship hasn't won a Grand Prix but has been so super consistent yeah it's coming isn't it and it could well be here in Riga it's a sort of track technically he rides very well he will ride the track tonight here we go then heat number three Lights on, tapes are up. The Kubera's made a lovely start from the inside. That inside runs to the first corner again round the outside. Look at that from Max Rick. Gate four gives you a super slingshot off that first corner. Robert Lambert pushing hard up the inside of Dominic Kubera. I thought for a moment he might be able to squeeze through. Quebec is at the back, but that run round the first corner when he came away from gate number four. Really working a treat. And Robert Lambert, whoa, that's fantastic from Lambert. He squeezes around the outside of Cabrera, smashing stuff. Yeah, super move from Robert Lambert. Thought he was going to manage to do that on the opening lap coming into turn three. He wasn't able to do it. He's now chasing down Max Frick. And uh, it's the entry to the corner from the outside gate. You can keep your wheels in line a bit longer, generate more speed Lambert. around the outside. Here comes Lambert now. Lambert. Look at the speed he's got. Fabulous oh. stuff. Wonderful ride from Robert Lambert. Looking like he was going to finish third there, but that bike gets hooked up. He has come charging to the front there. He's demolished the opposition here in heat number three. And that is some ride to start your night. Wow. That has taken our breath away, no doubt about that. Will Schmarslick now get off to a flying start? We have seen him start Grand Prix slowly this season and then work his way in. Uh, tonight, you fancy he'll be very keen indeed to get off to a strong start here in his opening ride. There he is on the inside. Massive attention on Smarslick these days. 15 point lead in the championship. Tapes are up. Away we go. We're into the first turn. Smarslick there roaring across the first corner. Wow, Mickelson's worked. Oh! Uncharacteristic mistake from Smarslick there. Smarslick trying to resist that charge from Mickelson. Just literally graving. Bike just reared up underneath him. Bartosz Smarslick lost control of his bike he's on his feet that's good news but clearly very disappointed with the way things have turned out there but Mickelson is still on the track so concern for him the last thing he's worried about whether he's in or out of the race um, uh, they're just concerned about I think that bang on the head on top of the safety fence I hope uh, that uh, he hasn't uh, suffered some sort of concussion or so but look he's being stretched away even one of the paramedics is at a fall there that's uh, slightly undignified but nonetheless clearly some concern for Mickelson and that is uh, a great shame Lebedevs with a lovely move from the outside in his first race to fire himself to the front and Kai Hukenbeck who was overlooked certainly we overlooked him in, uh, in the lineup first time one very nicely indeed first time out heat number eight here we go green light is on bit of movement from frick he then uh, keeps himself together is there going to be a red light doesn't appear to be so lebedevs has fired himself to the front here comes frick whoa what a move from frick when lebedevs keeps it well done down the back straight vasily diving deep into turns three and four trying to roar around the outside but once again lebedevs wow look what a night he's enjoying won his first race from gate number four he's under pressure from Frick but he's out in front again Lebedev's out in front with a lap to go Frick's there hovering in second place searching for a moment searching for a way through not able to do so Vasilik is back in third place with Hukenbeck at the back but wow this is a great moment for Lebedev he started like a house on fire tonight unbeaten from his first two rides look at the crowd they are absolutely overjoyed with that so's the rider if you can maintain the consistency from the starts throughout the evening, then you're going to get to the final because uh, it's not the easiest track to overtake on. So 
Riders now settling down for the resumption of racing in heat number nine. This is their third ride of the evening. Here we go, green light is on. Tapes up. Got to say, Wozniak made a great reaction on the inside and he gets there. That's how Janowski missed out there. Brilliant turn back from Hukenbeck. He fires himself to the front. Here comes Quebec around the outside. Gets the better of Wozniak, who's relegated to third place. But I'll tell you what, Kai Hukenbeck, what a night he's enjoying. He's won already earlier on this evening and he's fired himself right to the front here. Here comes Quebec in second place, but Hukenbeck is away. No, but he picks up a valuable point there with a the mistake from Wozniak. Kai Hukenbeck has made no mistakes at all. He's out in front. Quebec has got speed in second place. He's running a little wide there, lifting down the back straight on the final lap. And this is going to be the second win for uh, Hukenbeck this evening. And uh, an impressive stuff. Brilliant first corner. Two wins and a last. He moves on to six points from three outings. Wins will be important. That inside gate beginning to work now. We saw that uh, working well last night. Martin, who has uh, won a couple of Grand Prix this season, the only man to do so. He's on four points there, looking to add to that five points for Freddie Lindgren. Bartosz Marswick struggling tonight. This World Championship, what is going to happen? Here is uh, heat number 11. Smashing start on the inside from Vasilik. He gets there. He's hugging the inside in. They come around the outside, though. Oh, Freddie Lingman, lovely first turn from him. It's tied down the back straight. Polodinskis, the wild card there, winding it on in second place. He's run very wide. Martin now has come up the inside. He's on the back wheel, a little bit out of shape. And uh, they've got to say, Robert Lambert, who was such a spectacular win in his first ride, he's at the back. But out in front, look how fast Freddie go. This is fantastic stuff from the Swede. Yeah, the veteran Swede is winding it on his out front, looking really good. Martin Vasilek has had to come from the back. He doesn't look quite so comfortable. Konodinska's there really wide. Got to say, I've been impressed with him. He's all action and he's keeping the gas on. Robert Lambert now has found a way through. Can he find a way past Martin Vasilek? Well, I'll tell you what, they're not going to find a way past Freddie Lingman because he's a country mart out in front. Robert Lambert now, winding it on around the outside, trying to generate some speed. He's pushing on here, one last chance, around the final corner. Can he do it? Martin Vasling trying to respond. Oh, Lambert's done it again. What a ride from Lambert. Smashing out in front from Freddie Lingman. He was away. They worked the outside of the track to generate more grip there in the track grading prior to this block of races. He'll be hoping that uh, the grip's still there. Yeah, this is the sort of race that uh, shows the class of a champion. If he can turn his night around here, move himself onto seven points, it'll be a big, big race. Here we go then, heat number 16, a big race in prospect. They get roaring into the first corner, Wozniak's there, here comes Lebedev! Lebedev once again with a stunning turn back like he did earlier on. Oh my goodness, Smarsley nearly ran out of the side of Wozniak there. But Andre Lebedev turning on the style here once again. What a night of speedway, he's, uh, he's coming his way. Here comes Smarsley up the inside. Oh, Lebedev is out of shape. That allows Smarsley up the inside. First mistake from Lebedev. Can he respond? Well, he can. No, he does Round the outside, Chris. What a ride. Andre Lebedev riding out of his skin here this evening. He needs to be as strong as an ox there to hang on to his motorbike. And he is. And he's going to remain unbeaten. He's going to have 12 out of 12. Four outings, four wins. And once again, this crowd are overjoyed. Takes care of the world champion. Not an easy task at any time. By Hukenbeck, not completely out of it. He's on the outside gate. Yellow helmet colour. Needs a win. Three wins, nine points. You would suggest that would do the business. Here we go. Robert Lambert, can he get his way through to the semis here tonight? Tapes up, away we go. Roaring into the first corner, it's very close. Look at Hukenbeck, look at that. Oh, untidy crash. Oh, nasty incident in the first yeah, corner. Madsen and Holder. Yeah, Madsen there getting hooked up with Chris Holder. And uh, bikes and bodies all over the place. Good to see Jack Holder walking away. Big moment there, we're straightened up. There's a case for all four back. Um, I feel maybe Jack will go. But... Here we go for heat number 18, second time around. Green light is on. Tapes, oh, what's happened to Robert Lambert? Completely missed it. I don't know what happened there. That is uh, inexplicable. I don't know what's gone on there at all. But it's uh, Hukenbeck fires himself to the front. Neil Madsen comes to me into second place. A lot of work now for Robert Lambert. We've seen him do it a couple of times already this evening. He was a country mile behind. He's already in the race, roaring around the outside. Look at Robert Lambert go. This is going to be something very special.
special. Oh, Leon Madsen closes the door there. I tell you what, I wouldn't be surprised if Robert Lambert wins this race. Guy Hulkenberg riding defensively around the inside. He's worried about the attack from Leon Madsen. Now he's got some clear room. He's going to go around him. He's going to win this oh, race. Lambert. Oh, what a performance. Nowhere off the start. Didn't go anywhere. There must have been an issue there. He just missed it completely. He's now found himself to the front. He was under huge pressure. Had to win the race. And somehow he's managed to fire himself to the front. Hook and Beck and Leon Madsen back in second and third. Robert Lambert just take it easy. You've won on a country mile. That is an incredible race. That is really quite extraordinary. He must have been 20 metres behind. Here we go then. Three races to go. This is the first of them. Semi-final one. Start Marshall looks happy now. He's going to move away. Three lights on. Tapes are up. We're underway. And the Lebedevs has made a decent start, but he's in trouble there. What a turn back that is for Bartosz Marsling. He passed himself to the front. Freddie made a good start initially. We've got Lebedevs coming through in the third place. And Robert Lambert missing out there. Oh, Lebedevs! Sorry, Smarlix is in trouble there. Lifting violently there. That allows Freddy through. Well, they're all having some problems with the track surface there. Now Smarlix back up the inside. Freddy just about recovering. Oh, drama here in the first semi-final. Yeah, Lambert's coming through on the inside now of Lebedev's. It's all going on in the front. I tell you what, if these two trip over each other, those two are not far behind. Freddy Lindgren and Barca Smarlix have been untidy out in front, but they are hanging in there. And it looks like Freddie Lingren and Smarts are going to make their way through to the final. Disappointment for Robert Lambert and Andre Lebedev in particular. who had a stunning night. He'll be gutted not to make the final. But once again, the gritty determination from Freddie Lingren comes to the fore. You can see how the bikes are leaping about. Bikes set up pretty extreme now to get to the first corner. Bikes are not easy to race. Semi-final number two. Tapes are up. Away we go, and into the first turn, Bewley's just about got there. Round the outside, it's uh, Matza Janowski. He's working his way through in the second place. He gets the better of Frick down the back straight on the opening lap. They're bouncing around as they go across turns three and four. Frick coming back. Frick's responding. Superb move coming out of turn number four to complete the first lap. Now Janowski again, but Frick's there. Max Frick is having a decent night. Brilliant stuff from Max Frick, rock solid, looking like, as you rightly say, his sixth, second place on the evening, but for Bewley, this will be his third consecutive win, and he is really turning on the star now. Bewley and Frick are in the final, they're going to join Lingren and Schmarzel, it's going to be some shootout, don't go anywhere. We are now at Heat 23, it's the grand final in the Baikoniki Stadium here tonight. Here we go then, final time in Riga. Tapes up, we're underway. Beauty's made a lovely start on the inside. He gets there. He fires himself to front. Beauty, whoa, he's under pressure now. Smarzling with a sensational first corner. Freddie Lingwin follows him through around the outside of Beauty. Beauty got beaten up there. That was a stunning move from Bartos Smarzling. Freddie now giving chase. Back in second place. Beauty back in third. Smarzling's out, out of shape there. Smarzling out in front. What a result this is going to be. Didn't look like a winner earlier on, not at all. Freddie's trying everything he knows back in second place. But it's going to be back-to-back -back wins for the world champion here in the Baikoniki in Riga. That's an astonishing result. A round of applause for Bartosz Marzlik. That's why he's a four-time world champion. He's been under immense pressure. The confidence has been dented recently. But wow! That stunning move in the first corner, far into the front, Chris. And that's what it's all about.